increasing number of ways the sun is powering our future, there are innovative solutions already in use that can help curb the effects of climate change. And ABC's Ginger Z takes a look at wearable solar power technology and unique products to capture solar energy and combat climate change. Hi, I'm Ginger Z, and it's not too late. Today I want to talk about solar. Not the kind that's on the rooftop with the glass, but this. That canopy right now is powering this electric vehicle. Solar only makes up 4% of our nation's energy grid. While that number is expected to quadruple in the next eight years, it's a slow go trying to get folks to embrace the big panels on roofs. But those rooftop panels or acres of solar farms aren't the only option. That's why today we're talking about micro solar solutions, off grid, things that can make power on every surface, like this coat, this bag. We manufacture solar powered fabric products like tents, awnings, canopies, backpacks, bags. Pavilion told us almost half their business is making tents for the government and military, which could help in conflict zones or natural disasters. But solar fabric isn't the only option. Some companies like Ubiquitous Energy are looking to use windows to turn light into more electricity. The opportunity that we see is really utilizing the vertical surface of, of buildings as vertical solar farms. Using energy from the sun is nothing new. Optimizing it and making sure that everyone has access to it, that's what's going to help us ensure that it's not too late. For the ABC News Climate Minute, I'm Ginger Z.